Right here is the Solemn Huntress. If you have this hairstyle, then you have never truly grown out of your RAR XD phase. There's a big chance you still have a My Chemical Romance poster up in your room. You're a Nemo kid, and much like a rusty old car, you still have quite a bit of charm despite being out of style. Right side is, you probably never got pants because your jeans were too tight to be taken off in any less than 10 minutes. In game, Shadow Heart is your true companion and embodies everything you aspire to be. You'll probably play a warlock and spec into any dark abilities, especially invisibility, because that's likely how you felt in high school. Interplanar Braids. If you chose this hairstyle, you are very into mixed martial arts and probably made your hair colors as rainbow as possible so you can emulate Sean O'Malley. You want to fuse real life and fantasy, so it's highly likely you chose a monk and plan to spinning backfist your way through all of the problems in this game. You don't know this yet, but your playstyle is gonna be what the community affectionately refers to as murder hobo. And your character in game firmly believes there's no problem that incredible violence can't solve. We're glad you're here though, because if anybody's gonna face tank the first wave of damage, we know we have someone that we can rely on. Have fun fighting entire factions of NPCs. The Plucky Fable. If you chose this hairstyle, then you are probably basic in real life. You see this game as a chance to have incredibly detailed hair without putting in the work. I don't blame you though, because this was also my second choice of hairstyle. And I can only imagine the amount of preparation it would take to do this in real life. You'll probably play a mage of some sort and only choose spells that have the highest quality visual effects. Because playing a game realistically is for nerds. In addition to over the top spells, your build will probably be completely completely in shambles, because you don't care about synergy. You just want to explode your graphics card by plastering as many pretty colors on your monitor as you can. You're the glass cannon without the cannon, but it's okay, because you look sick. The bald. If you chose this, uh, hairstyle, then you're probably a minimalist. Who cares about all the bells and whistles when what you have is effective? You can pack your life in a single bag and move to another country in the next 10 minutes if you had to. You have a singular cup and bowl in your house. You're the living embodiment of why say lot word when few word do trick. Gameplay wise, you're probably one of the only people that will finish act one in sub 10 hours. Unfortunately, that also means you'll probably be poor since you won't be looting every crate and burlap sack that you come across in game. But as long as your DPS is efficient enough, gold doesn't even register on your mind. Can't wait to see your Baldur's Gate 3 speedrun at GDQ this coming winter. Ah, the Quahome. If you chose this haircut, then you are an actual Giga Chat. You don't fear receding hairlines. They fear you. Insecurities don't exist in your world. It's not easy being 6'5 and rippling with muscle, but you make the sacrifice because no one else is strong enough to. Your playstyle in game is probably a cleric because while DPS might be fun, you're the real backbone of the team and no one else is gonna be able to carry your scrub party except for you. When you get time off from playing football on your D1 scholarship, you'll also spec into a tank class later so you can lovingly protect the homies. Can't wait to see one of you guys become president 